Hey guys, Kasim with Digital Gladiator here, back with another video. And today, what we're going to be talking about, I believe it's day nine, by the way, in our 30 day uh, video challenge of a video every day. So that's going well so far. Um, but today, what we're going to be talking about is how to uh, create an SEO report for clients and everything about this, why you should be doing this. Um, so let's get right into it. Why should you do this? So for clients, you're going to want to keep them up to date. Uh, and what's going on you don't want to have them out of the loop and have them asking constantly like, hey what are you guys doing what's what are you even what are you even doing because they you're not in their office every day like the, all their employees are and you, you're not their employee but the point of the matter the point of the point of this is is you're doing work on their site and for their business and they're paying you every single month they deserve to know what's going on to add on to that helps retain clients. If you have, if you're giving them reports and you're showing them tangible results that you're getting them, they're gonna wanna stay on. You're showing them that you are providing the results that they're getting. They're getting more calls because of you. So you can show them that. But some mistakes that I see a lot of, in a lot of cases are A, people include way too much information in their reports and their reports are just so much detailed information on everything they're possibly doing and the clients are like whoa like I don't even I don't care for that and it's just going to take time out of your day when you have to make those huge detailed reports it's going to take a lot of time and you're just going to want to make it concise all right um, and most clients will only skim reports some won't even look at it but there will be like that 20% of clients that really look at them deeply and that's why those are who are benefit you're benefiting by reporting to them um, and then you don't want to include useless information kind of to go off the first point. You don't want to confuse them. It's not, it's not going to help anyone and it can actually hurt you. So just don't do that. And then how to report. So there are a few different ways you can report. You can send a personalized email every month, like the first of every month or wherever, whenever their new month starts, whenever their uh, billing renews. And there's quick, you know, there's quick listing of, you know, what do you got? What do you, what have you done? What results have you gotten? They're like say, hey, we syndicated a press release for you guys, or hey, we got your Google My Business verified. This, this, this. We got 20 calls, stuff like that. Um, and then you know, you can also send automated ranking reports with Pro Rank Tracker. That's what I use to send those out. I'll leave a link in the description for that. Works really well. You just set it up once, and you can set it up to like the date you want to send the report for the keywords that you're targeting, and then it just does that automatically every single month. You don't have to worry about it after that. And then you can also have a shared like Google Sheet or Excel sheet with them and have like the workbook in there and just ha they can look at it whenever they want to, to just see what's going on. That's an option as well. You can leave a voicemail every month with all your clients. Um, there's an automated ways to do that, like robo callers or something. You can just Google how to do that. With that, you can just make it so it's not really personalized to them, like you don't add their name. Just say like, hey, uh, just wanted to let you guys know we sent out the report, the monthly report. Um, you can check it with your email. If you have any questions on it, just give us a call back. And I'd be happy, happy to answer that for you. And it's just automated and most people won't even, will not call you back. Like maybe one out of every 20 to 30 plus, if that, will call you back. Um, but the point of that is, just, is to just keep in touch with them. And so they have that feeling of, okay, these guys are taking care of me. These guys have the best interest in mind for me. And it just gives them that, you know, that, that a good feeling about you guys so that's what you want to do and you can also if it's like a big client you know there's options to like make a video detailing if you want to go really um, above and beyond everything just make a quick video going into their like Google Analytics and uh, rank tracker and everything you can do that as well if you'd like but these are the four main ones uh, so I think sending a personalized email is quick is quick and easy as well as just pairing it with a ranking report it's totally fine if you do that and that's gonna be it for the video, guys. If you have any questions on reporting, just leave in the comments below, um, or you can ask in the Facebook group if you have a question on that. Tune in tomorrow for the next one. Thanks.